Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial. So today we're going to be showing you guys how to make a very simple little basic house in Conan Exiles or Conan's Exiles, one of the two. So right here is the house that we will be making today. Yes, I'm moving a little bit fast. I do have some mods, uh, not really mods, but like administrative like privileges on pretty much. Uh, so basically this is the house that we are going to be making. Very, very simple, small house that should have everything that you need. Um, and then you can always add on, you know, to this house later, or you can always just add stuff to the outside if you want to do it that way. So basically I have the exact amount of materials that we will need for this house. Again, it's a very small house, <clears throat> excuse me. So how about we go over the materials? So for our materials, we go to our inventory. We will need 15 sandstone foundations. We will need 10, uh, sandstone, you know, windows. I think they're called frames. We will need 14 sandstone walls, 10 sandstone ceilings, 12 sandstone fences, uh, six right sloped uh, sandstone wall, and a, the same number of left sloped. We will need four sandstone door frames. We also need nine thatched roofs, uh, simple wooden doors, you know, reinforced wooden doors. Those are really up to you which ones you want to use. A bed. Uh, one sandstone pillar and then basically just like the basics throughout that we will put inside of it But for the outside that should be it. So how about we get started with the foundation portion of it? So what we're gonna do we're gonna go to our one So what we're gonna do is go three wide totals so one two three Okay, now the rest of them you're just gonna keep coming all the way back with these Until oh you run out So it should be a three by five. So come on place it. There we go and just keep placing these until we're out. We come out a little bit more. So I like to build my houses next to water. Uh, it looks like I'll actually need to grab some more because this is a little bit of a deeper end than I expected. So give me just a second. Let's solve this problem real quick. I did not expect that deep of an end. Uh, oh, did I select a bed or something? So we need a sandstone foundation. We will go with six more of them. So that's another thing to keep in mind is if you are going to be building next to water, kind of keep in mind what your surroundings are for it. Uh, did not put them, did not put them in my inventory. There we go. Or didn't, still not do it. Come on. Uh, there we go. Okay. So now we just put these here and there we go. Now our foundation should be set. So one, two, three, four and five so the actual house portion itself not including the balconies and everything will pretty much just be a three by three pillar so i'm going to drop these now since we don't need them so we should be oh excuse me i have stuff on my desk by accident so that should be it for that so now when it comes to using your walls what we're going to do is we're going to go to our uh where is it number nine wait is that eight eight we're going to go to our door frame so we want the outer face to be facing the outside of the house. That is what that means. So we want one there. So if we come over back to the other side, you're going to see what it looks like. So door frame, and then just two windows next to each other. So very, very simple, guys. Not too much going on here when it comes to this house. It's a very, very simple house. So two, we're going to do our little windows here and here. And I believe we have one above like that on the front. And do we have one more over here? Uh, yep, so it looks like the other two on top of it are also windows. It's right here. So now we can actually use, uh, we don't want to do our sloped wall yet because we want to make sure we have the roof first. Uh, so kind of make sure that we do that because it is kind of important in my opinion. So next what we're going to do is we're going to add in a window here on the right side of the door frame. And the, le the next two are just going to be plain walls. So I'm going to go to our three and then outer face just like that. Again, very, very simple stuff here, guys. All right, so there is that. So these next ones, we come over to the other side of the house over here. You're going to see that we are going to have one window in the middle. So kind of come back over. Do do. So what we're going to do is have one here. And then the two surrounding it on the side are going to just be plain walls such as this. So again, very, very simple stuff here, guys. Nothing hopefully too complicated for you guys to figure out. This should be pretty simple stuff. So our next door frame, we're going to go back to our door frames here, is going to be on the left side of the house. So when you come out, we want, again, the outer face facing the outside. The best way to look at this is you always want the wood portions that you see on the inside of the walls to be facing on the inside portion of the house. 
I'm gonna change the time of day. Oh, admin panel, we want it to be noon. There we go, a little bit brighter out for us. So and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a window. I think, is it, hold on, I just wanna make sure and double check, is it in the middle? I think it is because we have our furnace. Yep, so it is in the middle, I did think so, but I do like to make sure, make sure I'm making things the exact same. So we're gonna have our window here next to the door frame, and then our three, our wall will just go on the end right there. And then if you want, you can even add in your wall now. So we will need two walls right here. So one, two. So the reason we're having two is because our stairs coming up to the second floor will go right here. So we also wanna make sure we keep that in mind. Is that also, that might be something I did forget. We will need one set of stairs. Uh, so I'm gonna just type it in now, bring that in. Sandstone stair, we only need one of them. There we go. So now that's pretty much it for the, you know, the first floor. I mean, again, like I said before, very, very simple design here, guys. Nothing really too complicated. So now what we want to do is using our sandstone fences, we want to put them all around the outside here, coming all the way around on these last two sandstone pillar, you know, portions back here. The reason why we have these are so we can add stuff to the outside, as you can see over there, because not everything that we will have will fit on the inside. So we want to make sure that we do that. So there's that. Uh, when it comes to adding in our stair, so we go to one, we want the stair to be coming up this way. So when you walk in the door, it should be right here as soon as you walk in. So now we can use our sloped roof, which we want the outer face to be facing us this time around. So it should look something just like that when it comes to how the stair looks in its final uh, design. So very, very simple design here. So our next door frame, kind of going back to those, we're going to go back to eight, is going to be right above the corner, uh, what's going to be like right in front of the stair when you come up, it's going to be on that first uh, block right here. All right, so very, very simple design. Uh, let's see, what should we do next? So for our windows, we're going to have one window here, one window here, and then in the middle, we want to have this be a plain wall like that, okay? So the rest of these, uh, besides right here, we're gonna add in one more window next to the door frame. So the rest of this, finishing off the top floor, will be just plain walls, or you actually won't even have any walls, really. So now we're gonna go to our ceiling, so four. And what we're gonna do is the ceilings are gonna fill up every space besides the two in front of the door and the stair. So right here, we're gonna be placing these. And then that's it for our roof on the inside. So we're not gonna have anything here just because of the fact that we don't wanna, you know, crouch when we walk up the stairs and that's what's going to allow us to do that. But when we come on to the outside or back portion, we are gonna have one here, oh, come up, place it, and one there. And this is going to be our nice little balcony on the back side. You're gonna take out your sandstone pillar and what you're gonna do is just place your sandstone pillar right here on the far left side. And it's not really necessary, I don't think. Um, it's more just for aesthetics, but I like adding it there. I think it looks pretty nice. So if we go in and back up, what we're gonna do is take back out our sandstone walls or fences and kind of put them around the balcony that we just added. And bam, so now that should be done. So we do have one extra. Um, I did try to account for it just in case you mess up having a couple extra just in case. So now we will work on the actual roof portion. Oh, did I? I didn't mean to add this one here. Dismantle that. There we go. So I think we're good there. So now we can add in our for, our first portion of the roof. So we're gonna use our thatch slope roof. That's the only thing that we will be using. So we're gonna move these down to here. So what we're gonna do is start with those on the left side of your house. And so the roofs in this can actually be kind of weird. And we want them facing this way towards the inside. And come on, come up. Uh, it might be easier to do it from the inside. Like I said, these can be very, very tricky sometimes to, come on, there we go. So now those are good. So now if we want to come to our sloped walls, we want to make sure we have it on the right side. So we want the outer face facing the outside. So we have the wrong one here. So this one should come over to the left side. And then our seven should go there. So there we go, now there's no holes in that portion of the roof, so looking kind of clean there. Now we need to continue the roof over on the other side coming up. So go back to our roof. We want it facing, come on. We want it facing this way, come on. 
roofs in this game are very very tricky to get into the right one once you get the first one down it can go pretty easy from there just trying to make sure you get it is the hard part ah uh, come on work with me work with me here up oh, i had one for a second up oh, there we go bam there we go we had the first one done and just kind of put the rest of them here just like that and then we want to have these come down and connect so we want these to be facing come on hey that way perfect one down want the other to be facing the same way just like this and once we're done with the roof we were going to do the same thing with our sloped walls so again this one's right and basically it's going to be the opposite on this side so then we go seven and just kind of fill in the gaps here bam so now our building should be done you know aesthetically from the outside as you can tell looks pretty nice very very simple design here guys so looking pretty good there uh so we do need to come to our regular walls sandstone walls and we want to stack these up uh right next to the stairs coming up and we want to have them coming all the way up to the ceiling just like that and this is where our bed's gonna go so if we want to add in our bed now our bed will go right here so three our bed will go right there so there we go and then i like to put two small little chests right here so three so you could make another room if you really wanted to i just don't really think it's necessary uh but again if you ever want to expand this house it would be, would be very easy to do so so nice little two small little chests there so we're looking pretty dang good so far so we're almost complete with this house already so when it comes to the interior what we're going to do is i'm going to move all this stuff again i have a couple extra items that i just kind of put in here so i want to take in our table round our chairs our fur <coughs> our furnace excuse me our carpenter's bench blacksmith's bench armorer's bench um and that should be really it for the interior so for our table i want to put the table here in the corner right next to the stair it's right as close as we can get it right there perfect and then for the chair itself i just like to make sure it's kind of just somewhat next to the table so bam just like that some both chairs down so i like to put in the blacksmith bench right here in this corner it doesn't really matter where you place these it just goes off personal preference really uh come on he's got to get in to the right uh maybe i should have put down hold on uh, let's dismantle the chair. Let's make sure we have enough room. For some reason, it's not letting us put this down. Hmm. Interesting. Let's maybe remove this chair. We can always add this stuff in. Dismantle. And let's just dismantle the chair. Uh, or the table, I mean. There we go. So now it seems to be working just fine. So now we can just add in that stuff later on. Uh, make sure it's all the way in the corner as far as we can get it right here so bam now that's set up in the corner ready to go for the furnace we're just going to place right here just make sure you turn it and get as far back as you can so right there should be good for that all right so on the balcony or the patio in the back i like to take the armorer's bench and put it right here on this one we can't put it underneath the balcony otherwise i would um it's just a little bit too tall i think for that and then for the carpenter's bench, I like to put it in this corner, right about uh, right here. So there's that. Now we can add in those chairs again and everything. Uh, so I'm going to go back into my inventory and grab those. So we need a chair. We need two of those. All right. And again, not all of the stuff is really necessary, guys. A lot of this will just depend on what you want. Um, or if you want to add anything else that you can easily. And then, what, what was the other thing? A table. That's right. We want the table round. Spawn two of those just in case. And now we can finish off this. Uh, where to put that? There we go. There's that. Um, and then chairs. So now we should be able to put the chairs and everything in here without any issue. So three. There we go. See, now it's working. I think it was just kind of glitching out a little bit there. Uh, and then put this one. Come on right there bam now we have walk in and now we, all we got to do is put in our doors so the doors 
very very simple i like to put reinforced wood doors on the outsides so here uh here and then on this one up here and that pretty much covers it if you ever want to add in like if you want to make this a room you easily could do that um i don't really think it's necessary though but that's it for this house guys so hopefully you guys got some usefulness out of this house um you can actually make a nice little village with these as well because they're very small and they look really good too so if you want me to make any other houses please let me know or well, one thing that we could always do is kind of go off this house and then once you have this completed we can always figure out how to expand it and make it look even better and bigger um that could be another possibility that we do as well so thank you very much for watching guys it is greatly appreciated and hopefully you guys enjoyed this house if you did make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos so bye bye